guys welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before hi i'm lexi don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified for every video i do post also give me a fat thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video it gets this video out there to other people so yeah don't forget to do that but all right guys i'm going to show you how to do these nails right here the airbrush effect these are for press on nails but the process is the same as if you were doing acrylic nails guys i'm going to start by filing the nails these are the nail sizes that a person had requested so I picked out the size nails they want and now I'm just filing them because they say that gel polish adheres better to like rougher nails rather than the um you know just the nails right out of the package. So I am roughing them up a little bit. You can also use just a regular nail file. I just thought this would be a little bit quicker to do instead of the nail file. Here I'm just going to take the nail file because I had cut them to like a medium length. I am just taking the nail file and pretty much just shaping them up better. And guys, I'm going to forewarn you, my hands look so rough in this because I was washing my hands all day, cleaning the house and all that. So my hands get super, super dry in the winter. So if you see that, I apologize but yeah so pretty much i'm just shaping them if you want to fast forward to where i show how to actually do the air pressure effect you can i just wanted to show the process of how i start the nails off before i do it here i'm going to be putting the base gel onto the nails so then after that i can do the color of the nails but pretty much I just put the base coat on. They say do a light coat so then it, um, cause like it tends to take a long time to cure the base gel. So that's why they say to do a light like base coat so then you don't have to worry about it taking forever to cure. But after I'm done doing that, I'm going to put it into the, um, UV lamp light. Also, guys, like I said before, I so apologize for having you guys look at my rough hands. Like, oh my god. But I put lotion on like three times a day, girl. And it's still like, I don't know. I just, I wash my hands all day long. Especially having a child and the whole COVID thing. So yeah, guys, I just have to keep saying that I apologize. Once I'm done prepping the nails and doing the base gel and everything, I'm going to take my white paint. I'm just going to show you how I do one nail pretty much so then this video doesn't take forever. But yeah, so this nail I'm just going to do a nice coat of white. I do believe I show I give this nail three coats of white because I wanted it to be super smooth and stand out and I didn't want to be see-through at all so yeah guys I am just doing that and I'll be doing three coats of the white After the first layer of white, I'm going to paint them white again. Like I said, I did three coats, so you can fast forward this if you would like to. But yeah, guys, so pretty much I just did three coats for all of the nails here, and then I cure it. guys as you can see in the top left corner there i did i'm trying to show you a little bit like what i mixed together i took a light pink and a little bit of the dark pink and i mixed it together for like the shadow effect and that's what we're going to be doing here first is like the little shadow effect i just use a regular um nail brush that i had nothing too big but nothing too too small because you do want that shadow effect 
so pretty much i'm just mixing it together and i have acetone right there i guess the acetone kind of helps it not be so bright kind of like a transparent look but then again sometimes i would just use the nail polish instead of it mixed with the acetone because i kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit because i don't know if there's a difference but like on acrylic nails the acetone and the nail polish looks so good like on the acrylic nail but like on the press on nails it's like hard to it's hard to explain you'll understand when you do it but yeah pretty much you're just going to be making a heart like shape for like an outline you can make it a little thicker because you are going to be doing like a hard really dark pink to go over it Right here I am making my second heart and then once I am done with the second heart I'm going to be making the little shadow effect thing for the like little glitter like shiny thing I don't really know what to call it but like that little diamond shiny thing that you put on the nails with it I'm going to be making it just like this as well with the shadowy color that I made
after i'm done doing that i'm going to cure that just like that you can cure it for 10 seconds 30 seconds 10 seconds is just fine so right here i am taking that dark pink that i have so out. I mean, you can do these any color. You can make them like a green. Just make like a lighter color green and then use the dark green to do the hard line, if that makes sense. So right here, sorry for my hair, guys. I was trying to concentrate. It's hard to like put my camera at a good angle so then you guys can see very well. Plus also try to make a really like precise line because it's hard to do that with the camera over here and then me trying to focus so I'm sorry if I do get in and you know you can't see certain things but um yeah so right here I am just doing the hard line for the hearts Alright guys, so now right here, I am just doing the same thing. I'm doing like a harsh line with that darker pink for the little glitter star thing that you put on the nail to give it that little look. But yeah guys, so after this, I will be making a highlight on the hard line that I made there. And I tried closing up for you guys. But yeah pretty much that's all you do but i will show how you do the highlight it's pretty easy you do the same thing you cure it i will show you i cure it and then i take the same brush that i have here and i put white nail polish on it and then i kind of just place the highlights anywhere on the heart pretty much anywhere you want to put it to give it that highlight look and it honestly sets it off and right now it looks okay but once you put like the top coat on guys i can't explain it it makes it look so airbrushy like I don't know it's like a total difference maybe you guys can notice on camera but like it's, I noticed as soon as I put that top coat on it like changed the whole look of it I don't know how or why but you guys see So once that's done curing guys like I said I did about 10 seconds each layer after I put like the little hearts on and stuff I am going to take my top coat you could do either matte or glossy I chose to do glossy and yeah guys hopefully you guys can see the effect like I do I don't know it's like once I put that top coat on it really pulled everything together and made everything look so good like I'm so happy with how these nails turned out I don't know this is just how I do it there may be different ways to do it but I find this way you know semi for beginners so it's not like super duper hard and sorry guys journey is like snoring super loud right now it is like three in the morning right now and I'm doing this voiceover for you guys but yeah I don't know if you guys can see like that difference when you put that top coat on 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all you do for this. You're just going to cure this, and this is how they will turn out. I am so in love with this, like, nail set. I don't know, like, I keep seeing it all over TikTok, you guys, and I don't know, I am in love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful, and don't forget to smash that like button for me because it will get my video out there and moving and going. So please don't forget to do that, and don't forget to don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'm sorry guys i am so tired but yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell but yeah guys thanks for watching